when we think about different businesses that we're wanting to invest in, we're not just buying the company and we're not just buying the product or the service that they produce or sell. We're also buying the management that runs the company as well. And so one of the things that we have to attempt to do is to determine whether those people are going to be good stewards of our capital and the other people that invest in the company as well. And so when you see situations like that, it would naturally cause you to ask questions and wonder, is this person or the people running the company the right people to be running that company? And maybe they're just not the best managers of the capital. They may be great salespeople. They may be great technicians and come up with a fantastic product, but they may not be great at, at managing the money part of the business. And, and those are all things to consider. And it's all part of the process of, of thinking about buying a company is, is assessing the management as well. It's a soft skill. It's not something that gets discussed a whole lot, but it's, it certainly is important because the better capital allocators the Warren Buffetts of the world, people like that, that's part of what makes him so special is that he's able to to take the money that people give him as an investment and turn that into more returns for not only the business, but also for the people that are investing in him. And so that's why it's it's like finding a great coach in a sport or you know, finding a, a great producer of, of record albums, you know, back in my day, back in the old days, there were, there were two or three producers that were famous for producing all these albums and all these top albums and, and all the artists wanted them to produce their music because they knew it was going to give them a good outcome. And it's, it's, it's the same idea when you're thinking about buying stocks is looking for good CEOs or CFOs or a management team overall and assessing whether that's going to be a good fit for you as well as for the company company. And so those are all questions you can add to your list of questions you want to ask when you're thinking about investing in different companies.